You see this? This is a yellow fever vaccine card. You need one of these to enter Honduras. And because of poor planning on my part, this card landed me here. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I wanna to help you travel smarter by showing you what an $83 a night hotel room looks like here in Roatan, Honduras. But first, if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, and let's get started. You see, if you look online, Honduras is a country that is in a yellow fever zone. Now this isn't the case for everybody, but if you're entering Honduras from Panama or every nation in South America, you have to provide a yellow fever vaccine, which isn't too bad. You just get a little prick in your arm here in the back. It hurts for a little bit, a couple of seconds, and then you're pretty much good to go, or at least I thought. See, if you look inside the yellow fever card here, and then you go right in here. So I got my shot, you can see here on July 5th, which is great because I was gonna be leaving on July 11th. What I didn't know though was, is that the effective date is July 15th. Now I got the shot on July 5th and I thought, oh, I'll just get the shot, I'll be vaccinated and then I'll leave on July 11th like I had originally made my plans. The problem is the effective date of the shot is July 15, which means that I had to push all of my plans. I had made a bunch of different plans going from country to country to country, hopping on a map, going around with hotels, with flights, everything booked. So I had this nice little trail and then I had to change all of it. The reason for that being, of course, well, I'm a pretty bad planner when it comes to travel. And this little card, which I didn't realize it takes 10 days for your yellow fever vaccine to become effective. I'm pretty sure I've gotten one of these before in the past, but I don't remember this being an issue, but anyway, it was, so I had to remake all of my plans. Fortunately, a lot of big airlines let you change flights without a fee, so that was pretty easy to do, but when it came to the hotels along the way, that was a little bit trickier. Hotels are a little bit more difficult when it comes to changing or modifying your plans, especially after you've made your reservation, and I was moderately successful when it came to that. But there was one stop, one stop along the way, and that is here in Roatan, Honduras, where my entire hotel, my entire accommodation plan just fell apart. This is a really busy and touristic island, so finding a premium spot in one of the better hotels has been a little bit difficult. So I ended up scrolling and scrolling and scrolling down a bunch of accommodation booking sites and not having a ton of luck, so I had to go with what was left over. And that is always a very scary proposition when you're traveling to a new place that you've never been to, because when you go online and you see the accommodation booking sites, it can be really hard to tell if the pictures are gonna match what you see when you get there, and there's all these reviews, and then there's always that one horror story review. So it can be a little bit disconcerting when you have to change your accommodation plans at the last minute. So after seeing no vacancy, no vacancy, no vacancy, I scrolled all the way down to the bottom, and I did find one, one apart hotel that did have some free rooms. And that booking was this hotel room, this apart hotel for $83 a night, the Sea Breeze Inn. So I wanna give you an idea of what it's like to stay here for $83 a night, what you get, and how this may or may not be a little bit disappointing depending on the kind of accommodation you're looking for when you travel. So this is an apart hotel, meaning it's sort of apartment, sort of hotel, with all of the rooms kind of facing outwards, like you would have like in an apartment complex, for example. You've got a restaurant which is tied to the Sea Breeze Inn, and then you walk down this little path, and you go up to one of the rooms that they have here. And this, for example, is where I'm staying, room number 12. But before I show you the inside, they do have one little perk here, which I haven't used yet, but uh, I figure it's a good time to give it a try. So. They've got this hammock here. Okay, it's pretty easy to set up. Not as easy as to hop over, but... And we have hammock time. If you look up this place online, you will see a lot of photos with the hammocks. Hammocks are a big, big selling point. And it's nice to just kind of hang out here throughout the day because it is really, really hot and kind of humid. So you need some hammock time? You got hammock time. Enough hammock time, time to show you the room. All right, it's pretty hot outside, so I'm gonna turn on the AC. So that's one nice thing to have is a pretty strong AC and in a room about this size, which isn't too big, it definitely cools down pretty quickly. There are also two of these ceiling fans in this room. So again, very nice to have some airflow and keep you cool. And let me show you the rest of the room. We've got two beds here. We've got one larger, it looks like a 
queen bed, I guess you could say. And then like, I think that's a twin size bed. So you got these two beds. It's not very spacious. Everything, the floors are made of wood. You can hear pretty much everything happening around you. So you can hear the neighbors upstairs, downstairs, next door. You can hear all of that, but it's not too noisy, especially if you have good neighbors, which so far I've had. Now you do have things like a security lock and then this lock here. Speaking of the office, they weren't too responsive. So when I asked for an airport pickup, they never got back to me. I called several times. I sent several emails. I was able to figure it out. I got in a taxi and I made it here. Either way, I got here fine. It was no problem, but it was still a little bit confusing. Now what I'll say is nice about this hotel, apart hotel, is that you do get really fast Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi signal is pretty strong. I'm getting about 60 megabits down. Actually a little bit faster than that, about 80 down it looks like, and about 75 up. So it's a pretty strong and fast internet connection, which is definitely a huge plus. Other than that, we've got a small kitchen area here with a bunch of different plates, bowls, and pots, pans, everything you would need to cook, and a small little burner top. And your refrigerator. So you can store things like snacks and drinks in here, which is really good because if you're eating out every day in Rotan, it's gonna get pretty, pretty expensive. And the final room of this $83 a night hotel, a part hotel, is the bathroom. Now, if you look at some of the reviews online, many of them said the showers. They said the showers are not gonna give you hot water. It's gonna be cold, which honestly wouldn't be too bad because it is so freaking hot outside. But if you come over here, when I turn the water on, pretty warm. So uh, considering how hot it is outside, I guess it doesn't take much effort to heat up the water. So I was a little bit worried about that. I thought, I'm gonna be having cold showers. Nope, shower was perfectly fine this morning. So there you have it. That's what the room looks like. But there's a couple of other things about this hotel, about the Seabreeze Inn, which you might want to know about, like its proximity to a lot of different things. And it is very, very central here in the West End of Roatan. Roatan is an expensive place. Do I think $83 a night for this room makes sense? Maybe in Roatan, but I think in a lot of parts of the world, it would be a little bit overpriced. All right, so we're talking about one of the benefits of the Seabreeze Inn is that it's really close to everything, like Cafe de Paolo, which is about a 10 minute walk, just right up the road, and you can get brunch here, you get a hibiscus tea, iced tea to cool off, and they also have a variety of different food options. I'm here now and I got this vegetarian omelet, sort of, with avocado, tomato, eggplant, on top of toast with two eggs cooked runny. The avocado is uh, a little bit spicy, but I would say if you want basically to, to save, breakfast is your best choice. Breakfast and brunch on this island is your best choice. Dinner is going to be a lot more expensive. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, this is a good way to start the day or continue with your afternoon. And you're right by the water, so you get this absolutely amazing view of the water, of the trees, of the beach. Really nice place to stay, and like I said, very, very close, very, very close to the Sea Breeze Inn. Now, is the Sea Breeze Inn the first place I'd recommend you stay? Probably not. Is it the first place that you would want to stay? Probably not. But it's not a bad place to stay. It just shouldn't be your first option. But if you're in a situation like I was where you forgot that it takes 10 days for your vaccine to kick in, it's not a bad place to wind up. And of course, then you still have the rest of Roatan to yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I have new videos for you every week. And I'll see you in the next video.